So next one, I want to show you uh, the merge function. And the merge function is more or less um, comparable to a VLOOKUP in Excel. And it's a super powerful one. So if, if you check the series and if you check the videos before, then probably the pivot function and the merge function are the most interesting ones for you. The rest is more or less clean up and a little bit of data handling. So let's see, let's check the merge function. So what I did until now to sum it up, I loaded a CSV file with Google Analytics performance data. So you see page views here and I loaded a, a web crawl with some information about uh, which features existed in different URLs. And this one was a CSV, this one was an Excel. I loaded these and I did some cleanup and now you have this data frame and this data frame. And if you look closely, then both data frames have an ID. And this ID is based on the article ID, which was found once in the page path. Um, and in the other case, it, the ID was found in uh, the address of the crawl. Um, and now I want to merge these. So I want to connect uh, the data for this ID, uh, this data, this row with in this data frame should also be this ID and um, I want to connect the page views. So and this can be done with the merge function. And um, I will show one example how to do that. And the option here, it looks like this. So let's see. Uh, let's go also here with head 10. Um, it loads the data frame of the CSV, which is this one, and it loads the data frame of the crawl, which is this one. Um, and it merges ID GA, in this case, GA here, uh, with uh, ID crawl from this data frame. And uh, let's see what happens. So, now I merged them and because I, I basically kicked out a lot of data of the original data frame, we have a lot of uh, fields which don't mer merge. Uh, so it's, they are just available in one of the data frames to show, show it like this. So these numbers are in the data frame of Google Analytics, the CSV, but they are not, and that's because here is none, um, they are not in the data frame of um, the crawl. And if you want to solve that, you could kick out um, the values which are now. Uh, just keep the ones which are not now, which looks like this. And now you can see here perfectly um, this ID has three page views, it's this address from the crawl. So here you split and uh, there is the data from uh, coming from the crawl. So that's it. Uh, maybe what you could do in addition, you could drop one of the IDs because they are now duplicates. So let's drop the crawl and it looks like this. So now it's perfectly clean data to work with.